All right, welcome back. Maximum depth of the binary tree. It's a very typical question that we. Um, okay, let's get started. Uh, given a binary tree, find its maximum length. The maximum length is the number of nodes along the longest path from the root node down to the furthest, farthest leaf node, and a leaf node is a node with no children. Okay. Uh, given a binary tree, then that is three. And then we have three twenty-seven. Okay. So uh, very straightforward. I, uh, like I said, like I've been constantly saying, in, in, in for my all, all my videos uh, regarding trees, uh, two ways to traverse tree, right? Uh, Breathless search or deathless search. Deathless search is always the most mind fucking uh, solution. Because it's counterintuitive. A buffer search is more counterintuitive and more is safer uh, because you don't have to go through stacks. You know, you don't have to go through a a, 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 a recursion. You don't have to go to a recursion uh, to create multiple stacks. So, uh, I guess without ado, uh, we can start. We can start with the deficit search because uh, for this for this question, deficit search would be a pretty straightforward solution. So first of all, um, since we are doing max step, right, and we're just returning the root, and first of all, if um, if root is equal to null, then what do we do? We return zero. Okay, but if it's not, then we'll just return one plus max that. So, two things. Uh, we'll compare the depth of the left node and the depth of the right node, and see which one is larger. So, empty pitch and the depth node will be root dot left and uh, we'll have max depth root dot right okay so that's it it's very straightforward because one it's counted as the current node and then you'll plus whatever that comes after <clears throat> So let's see with 3, 9, 20, 15. So 3 root is not 0. So we'll have 1 plus max, and then we'll pass into 9, 20. 9, 20 go inside of this. We'll have 1, 1. And, uh, but here on the left tree, 1 has been returned right to 1. And then here, max step will be returned as 2. So this will be 3. Let me see if that works. Three, three. Okay, so let's see if that works. Just two lines. Wow. Hmm. Accepted. Okay, perfect. So let's spend less than two minutes. So this is trivial. So what can we do with buffer search? Let's see. So let's comment this out and paste this. Okay, so can we do it with buffer search? Yes. So, <clears throat> so we can have a queue to keep track of the layer of the. We can have a queue to keep track of the layer of the. The, of the tree, and then once once we got out of the. Once we got out of the. Uh, Queue. Once we are running out of nodes in the queue, we'll return the queue layer. So first of all, we will have a queue, just root tree node, right? And uh, <clears throat> so first of all. We'll put Q we'll 
we'll put the root in subject q. Okay, so current size so is equal to q dot size for Okay, so while q's, q's size is not equal to zero, and get the size and increase the depth. And uh, so depth is one, and uh, we have um, q is not, well, q is this, and we'll put the left to know and the right to know to the q, uh, and then I'll just return three three. Accept it. Okay, perfect. Hmm. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. The time complexity and the the time complexity and the space complexity will always be the same. Not always, but will be the same for both solution. Uh, space the time complexity is it's less arguable <clears throat> because you still have to no matter this solution or this solution you always have to you always have to uh, go through all the nodes so time complexity is big of n and space complexity 
because you're using a Q here for preferences the maximum with the to, to select to impact layer with the big of M M is the layer the number of nodes on the layer um, however for this the space complexity because you're creating a lot of stacks so space complexity will be big of as a K like K is the the depth of the depth of the uh, especially the depth of the uh, the tree so it really depends uh, it's really unpredictable you can't really say it. you can't really say which one is better because the tree can be very wide and uh, but the so in this case then what's the number of nodes on a certain level well, then in this case then the, the deafest uh, the depth of search, the space complexity of depth of search would be slightly better because if the space complexity is log n, log n, n is the number of nodes, and for depth of search, it's n, it's log n. It's two to the power of log n. Be yes, because it's it's counting the all the, um, it's counting all the nodes on that level. So let's just say of on one level, the first level you have one node, second level of two, and then four. So it's two to the power of log n. So it's so so space complexity. This deficit search solution wins. Okay, all right. Uh, I hope you learned something today uh, from this video, and uh, if not, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.